still really helpful to your game. Okay, so um, now the work I'd say we're doing is enlightenment and mystical work. Now, some of you, or some of you may or may not have heard of Dr. Hugh Len, and uh, Dr. Hugh Len, but this is how powerful this spiritual work is. Dr. Hugh Len is what I'd call a mystic. So basically, I mean, he, in using his language, he's clearing the data, clearing the programming within his ego. Uh, and um, so this is, a, you can look this up on YouTube, and it's quite a famous story of a mystic. So there was, um, uh, there's a prison, there was a prison in Hawaii of like criminals. And he was given the files, you know, axe murderer, whatever. He was just given the file. He didn't meet them, of, of the files of all the of all, all the inmates in the thing. And he did this clearing work, forgiveness work, on the on the and letting go work, of clearing his perceptions and forgiveness of, of all that they had done. And this is a true story. It's documented and it's quite famous. And he didn't meet the, he didn't meet any of the people in prison. Everyone in the prison got well, and they left, and they closed down the prison. This is a true story. And what he did was um, just cleared his unforgiveness, his data. But it, the way I sort of see it, we're all part of the collective. And by totally letting go of my perceptions of how someone has done anything wrong, or is bad, or a sin, or whatever, until there's nothing left within me, and completely let that go. Uh, and he's at an advanced level. He'd be what I'd call a mystic or a you know, mystic, mystical teacher. He's also at a very advanced level. So he could 100% let go of this data. And the whole prison, all, all the prisoners got well, and they closed the prison down. So this work that we'll be doing now with The Course in Miracles, and you can look this up online, that's the power, not only of just releasing physical illnesses from my body, but when you clear these negative ideas and perceptions within the world, the power to create healing in the world is, is incredible. Also, um, Dr. Hawkins did some research. It's like someone at the level of enlightenment is counterbalancing the negativity of literally you know, millions of people who are in negativity. So as you elevate your consciousness, just your presence in a room is enough to uplift, you know, it's, it, you know, uplift you know, thousands and millions of people. Very, very quickly, I'll end on this, because you know, spiritual work is kind of thankless, because you do this spiritual work and yet everyone's, you know, people feel less negative around you, they're not going to commit suicide. But you know, the spiritual work, and also as you forgive people, miracles can happen in other people's lives as well, quite dramatically. I won't go into it today, but I've had mega miracles happen. So just to clear your own belief in stuff, or you can say God did not create, like very quickly, I shared this before, with my mother, she had oedema, swelling of the feet, and I did God did not create oedema in my mother, and immediately the swelling started to go down, she just spoke to me, and within, I think, three or four days, it had completely gone. So just, you know, if you're clear, I'm just saying this, because this, just to add, to when you say God did not create cancer, you know, uh, God did not create cancer in me, so it's not real, or God did not create cancer in Aunt Maggie, and so it's not real, or whatever. There's real power in just clearing these perceptions. And um, I had three illnesses go. I've seen you can clear stuff in yourself, you can clear stuff if there's karmic permission, God's permission in other people as well. So it's very, very powerful. Two ways, or you can do, I cancel my belief in cancer, I'm an infinite being, subject only to what I hold in mind. <clears throat> so, I cancel my beliefs like refuting. I cancel my belief in like fibromyalgia. You know, I cancel my belief in fibromyalgia. So that's, you know, I refute that. That does not exist in God's world. That's like an illusion out of a nightmare of limitation and ego suffering. So I cancel that. I'm an infinite being. So when I'm in the infinite, timeless, eternal presence, or the holy, holiness, or the oneness, that does not exist. So when I, I'm in, my being is infinite. I don't know if this makes sense. I'm in oneness, I'm the limitless, I'm the timeless. I'm now stating the truth. I'm cancelling or refuting the limited, you know, which is not real in God's world, and I'm stating that I am the infinite. I'm one with God, if you like. 
or I am Bill. So I do it like that. And I ha you know, when I say, I, when I cancel the limitless, I know the limited is not real. I don't know if that makes sense. That's how I do it. I have no, if I believe in the limited, I know I will, I will be subject, I will suffer the limited if I believe it. I don't know if this makes sense. Because God didn't make it, therefore when you're with God, it cannot exist. That's right. That's it. That's it. So I have, I have so I'm, that's the conviction that I say this stuff with. Like, I don't like to say, I don't, you know, I just refute the limited. It doesn't exist in God's world. If I'm one with God, I'm not going to be subject to any limited idea in this world. So I state I'm one with God. So, so that's one of the main things, and it can be for everything. Illness, for... Um, <clears throat> miracles will come um, if you let go of the limited ideas. You know, there's nothing God cannot do. Um, so... If your ego is being attached to like, oh, you know, my, my house has got structural problems, I'm going to suffer. You just say, God, you know, God did not create structural problems in my house, so it is not real. <laughs> or God did not create fibromyalgia, so it's not real. Or God did not create a lack of vision or low self-worth, so it is not real. Or God did not create whatever it is, you know, uh, you know, God, you know, Actually, everything that's limited, and it's more or less everything that you're buying into as a problem, is a limited idea. You just have to figure out how you're holding it. You know, I'm suffering bad relationships. God did not create bad relationships. Or I'm suffering a lack of finances, or I'm suffering poverty, or I'm suffering uh, a neighbor from hell. Because you put some importance on me. That's right. And so you block off God's <coughs> miracles. Because, you know, when my ego identifies with the limited idea, I'm now cutting off grace. I'm now cutting off the miracle. So if I hold a limiting idea with fear, then it's like, you know, I'm saying, God, you can't enter here. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to allow your miracles to come in. So I know that while I hold on to anything with fear and limitation, I will not experience a miracle. I have to clear it 100% before the miracle will happen. So, so it's a lot of negative, like, I can't sell my car for, for, for more than X. Yes. You know. There's no point in me trying to sell it. I'll have to pay the agent to do it. Yes. So that's coming into agreement with uh, an idea, isn't it? Yeah. With and then a limiting idea. A limiting idea. Yeah. And and uh, and that will often become true. The self-fulfilling yes. prophecy. You know. Or I won't even try and do it. Or I won't even try. <laughs> and if you hold things with fear and limitation, they'll often come to, towards you and sort of bite you in the bum at some point. Right. Either either literally or metaphorically in some way it will come. So they just believe, I'm going to put this guy on auto trader and God's going to sort it out. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's That's right. <laughs>